All right, so there we go. We got some sun coming up about 12.30ish p.m. New York Eastern Time. It's about October, I think it's October 12th. And we're gonna test out this 40 watt solar panel on top of a boat. Now granted, we are dry dock, but being that there's no stand on the back of this panel, we have to lean it up against something the best we can. And on a boat, it's slightly awkward and the boat's always going to be moving when it's out in the water so basically i'm just going to align it the best i can towards the sun and see how fast it will charge our 240 down below so i'm just holding the bottle up here to just get an idea of how it's pointed to the sun not too bad and we're going to go down below and see what kind of reading we're getting. And uh, let's see, let's pull most of this back into the sun as much as we can. Here we go. We're going to see how long it's going to take to charge our 240, which is down below. And we're renovating the boat, so it's a wee bit messy. And, uh, okay, so we got the 40 watt plugged in up above and we're going to stick it into the 240 and uh, see what kind of readings we get here. All right, so we're at 74% capacity on the 240 and we're getting about 26 watts. So we're going to keep an eye on this and uh, see how long it'll take. Like the sun basically goes down around six o'clock, technically around closer to 6.30, but it's really low to the horizon where there's gonna be no sun hitting the solar panel. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, as the sun sets, it's gonna be blocked by most of these trees. So we're gonna get a few hours and we're gonna see how good this 40 watt panel can top off and uh, semi properly aligned you know i i uh i might get something else to just stick behind this and uh and get it aligned a little bit better maybe i'll move it to the hatch or uh maybe i'll put it way in uh in front of the bow but we'll see all right so i did move the uh the panel over a bit it's leaning against the stay, kind of like and against the uh, the rope, decently pointed towards the sun. And uh, it's been about an hour now, so let's go below and check what we're getting on. All right, 30, 31. Now this is up to 35 before, which is not bad out of a 40 watt panel fluctuating a little bit there might be a slight bit of cloud going on yeah there's a, a few clouds passing it so here we go 34 it was up to 35 not bad out of a 40 watt panel let's keep an eye on this and then see what happens see if we can top it off to 100 within a few hours okay so the sun is getting almost below the tree line. There's some clouds coming in and out. It's been partly sunny. I moved, the sun shifted a bit, so I moved the panel over to this side of the boat. Let's go take a look and see how the generator is doing. It's about three o'clock, so uh, look at that. About 15, 16 watts, 98% on the generator. Looking sweet so far, and we got about two and a half hours of the panel out there with uh, semi-sun situations. We're going to check in just after the, um, the sun goes below the tree line. It's still out, but uh, the, 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 tree, the tree hedge is in the way. So let's see if we can see if it brings it up to 100%. Um, there you go. So it's... Still, uh, I would guess maybe another 30 minutes or so. We'll see. All right, let's check the time. 3.13. 
and the sun has been skimming the top of the tree line. I moved the panel over just a little bit, but it was at an angle, not perfectly aligned. And let's go check out the generator. Look at that, a hundred percent charged. Zero watts coming in. That's because uh, the Jackery won't allow any more input when it's fully charged. Kind of throttles it. They don't tell you anything about that on the website. I think they should update it so people are not concerned. When they're hooking up panels trying to see what kind of input they get and it's 100% and it shows zero and they may think their solar panel is not working. So look at that. 100% we started around 1230, 130, 2.30. So like two and a half hours and uh then some maybe a little bit more two and a half hours two two and three quarter hours and we went from what was it 74 percent to 100 with a 40 watt panel so i'm resold on this and uh Got up to 35 watts out of a 40 watt panel. That's pretty good. Might have got a little bit more on a different test. But um, the 40 watt panel, uh, definitely for the size, the portability, and the IP68, you leave that out in the rain, it's definitely worth it. But it would be nice to see it sold separately and not combined with the generator. So there you go. Appreciate it. Give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.